Good afternoon, I'm Dom Taylor. Thanks for joining us for this news update. President Donald Trump has selected the legal team that will represent him in his impeachment trial in the United States Senate. Leading the team are Harvard Law Professor Alan Dershowitz and Ken Starr, who led the Whitewater investigation during the Clinton administration. Trump faces charges of abuse of power and obstructing Congress. The president's personal attorney, Jay Sekulow, will lead the defense team. The trial began this morning in the Senate. A Delta Airlines plane slid off the taxiway at Kansas City International Airport on Friday due to icy conditions as a sprawling winter storm hit a large part of the Midwest. Delta Flight 319 was taxiing from the terminal when the nose wheel dropped off the taxiway pavement. There were no injuries reported and the passengers were bussed back to the terminal. The winter storm has forced schools and government offices to close and a blizzard warning remains in effect for much of the upper Midwest. Democratic presidential candidate Michael Bloomberg wants all new cars to be electric by the year 2035. The New York billionaire also wants all new buildings to produce no carbon emissions by 2025. All of this is part of a clean energy plan that Bloomberg just released. The plan builds on his proposal to cut U.S. carbon emissions by 50% by 2030. That's a less ambitious proposal than the Green New Deal that many of his Democratic competitors have embraced. That plan calls for achieving net zero carbon emissions in 10 years. And finally, in sports, once in a while, you just have to tip your hat and say, well done. The national champion LSU football team visited the White House, welcomed there by President Donald Trump. The team made the White House trip so soon after winning the championship so seniors on the team would be able to take part. The president attended the national championship game in New Orleans, where the Tigers defeated Clemson by a score of 42 to 25. LSU quarterback and Heisman Trophy winner Joe Burrow presented the president a team jersey with Trump's name on the back and the number 45 since he is the 45th president of the United States. That's a quick news update. I'm Dom Taylor. Thanks so much for watching and have a great day.